Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going with Q3 of the Weekly Kindness 395, Minimum Array N. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this one. So this one I thought I did pretty quickly, but apparently people did even quicker. Um, so the key thing to note about this problem is that for the bitwise N to equal to X, every number has to have X in binary, right? For example, if if x is just, uh, and I'm just banging on the keyboard with ones and zeros, is this number, then now every number, well, the smallest number, uh, so let's say you, have, you need n is equal to, it doesn't really matter, like 20 numbers, then that means that the smallest number has to be, well, this number first, because every number has to have this, and then the next number uh, or is going to be this number, but now you're trying to add the smallest number, right? What's the smallest number? Well, it's just that this number becomes a, a 1. And then next it, it's going to be same thing except for now uh, you have this 0 and now you have this 1. Right? So basically every the way that I thought about it here is that okay well in this case we have this number And it's immutable, right? This is the bitwise pattern that has to be in every number in between, right? Or afterwards, right? So then now, how do we figure out the nth number? Well, the first number is going to just be this number. And then the second number is that, because we can only, if you think about it as incrementing and we, we need this number, then we can increment this number without the, um, without this bit pattern by only changing the zeros because the zeros do not change the result, right? Because every number after this um, will have this thing because no matter what the number is, as long as it contains this in its pattern, it will have this as the answer for all the bitwise ends. Um, so yeah, so then now, that how can, how can we solve this? Well, n is the 20th number, right? That means that we increment, let, let's, let's take, the, take all the zeros, let's take all the ones out of um, out of here, right? If we take all the ones out of here, and I, this is going to look very silly, is that we have four zeros, right? So then now x two is just going to be well, like I said. So the small, the next smallest number is just this, and then the next smallest number next after that, the the next smallest number after that, and you kind of see a pattern growing, right? Which is to say that all the zeros just because we can only increment in this way on using the zeros and on to the left of it. The 20th number would, well, the first number, this is zero in binary, right? This is one in binary, this is two in binary, dot, dot, dot. So, so then now if we want to figure out x of 20, all we need to do is get the 19th number in binary, right? Uh, which is what 16 plus 3 something like this maybe I don't know maybe I'm off by 1 right uh, 1 2 4 8 16 no, no, no yeah so this is 19 right and then now we just incorporate this into the zero patterns right so then now we have this um, the, going from right to left the first one is a 1 this is a 1 we have 0 0 and then now we prepend with 1 and this is the answer of course, this is the answer in uh, binary. We have to convert it back to a number. But that's basically the idea. Um, implementation is a little bit tricky, but not too bad as long as you get the idea about it, doing it that way. And as, as yeah, um, I, I made a silly mistake with this forgetting this else statement. But otherwise, how I did it is that I subtract from one because we don't need the zero of element. I create a deck of the bits of the binaries of n. So then now, for example, if we're still using 19 or 20, uh, and we use n is equal to 20, but now n is equal to 19, so then we get the 19 binary digit. And this just allows me to kind of pop off from the front. Uh, uh, well, this is reversed, just to be clear, so I could pop off from the back. So I guess using a deck, I could just pop off from the back. I don't know what I'm doing here, right? And then here, I just also use the same thing, but now for the x. So then here, if we have ones, we just keep the ones the same place. Else, if we have bits, then we pop off the next number from the 
end thing. Otherwise, we just append zero because we ran out. We uh run out, run out of digits on the end side, so we could just append zero. And yeah. And if we have any bits left on the B side, we just keep on popping. And then we just convert it back to binary. I think the implementation, the way that I did it, I'm not so sure I'm super happy. And I, that's how I became a bug. Uh, that's how there was a bug. But, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, that's basically the idea. Um, I think the idea is more important than implementation, especially in my code, because my code is not great today. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. What is the complexity here? Well, um, this is going to be over B times because that's the number of binary bits in N. The number of binary bits of X are over B times still, right? This is over B, you know, there's only over B number of digits here and also over B. So everything is over B, which is linear in the size of the input. So this is linear time and linear space because remember the size of the input is over B because we have B bits, B bits, two times B bits. So yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Like I said, I don't think the code is very good. I, I'm, I'm having some trouble today. Uh, but, but yeah, I think the idea is the key part. And let me know in the comments what you think about the idea. And you can watch me solve it live during the virtual contest now. It, it, where's the summit button? Oh, there we go. Uh, good yellow. And the next positive integer numbers of size n where i is. Man, I cannot read. And, and the reason. So it's a. Uh, okay, so it is. A weird way of saying it is an increasing sequence. And the n of all operations is x. Return the minimum possible to the biggest number. Okay. It's a okay, I see. So basically just throw in the zeros, right? And x is the first number. Is that it? Oh no no x well it has to be the first number because that's just be the smallest number. Ten to the eight though, huh? So I was hoping to do a for loop to be honest. I I didn't look at the constraints. Ten to the eight, huh? I mean, you could do a binary search on it, but it's just like a very annoying implementation, maybe. Oh no, okay. Just take out the bits, right? Okay, fine, yeah. Um, all right, how do I want to code it? So, okay. And it's the number of numbers. Okay. <coughs> so something like this. And now you just want to. For every zero in X, the other way. Okay. Uh, I feel like I'm writing this in a really weird way. Okay, so for every zero, we take a bit from B n. Okay, so uh, the way that I'm gonna write this, just Q then. Yeah, why not? Why why not have all the Qs? Now, Larry, what are you doing? Okay, fine. <laughs> Don't get overboard. Okay, for so we have zero, then we replace it with the B y. Okay. If C is equal to one, this is reversed. Remember to reverse it, Larry. Okay. Uh, else, um, if length of P n is greater than zero. 
and then now while I'm encrypt Okay, so then now enter the Oh well now this is the oops something like this 723 is not quite right am i doing it right uh let's see four is 100 right and then we have three so it's gonna be three is just so it's six. Oh, am i off by one i am off by one i think yeah i'm off by one um Six fifteen. All right. Uh, I mean, all right. Yolo. Oh no. <laughs> Should not have Yolo, but luckily it's a virtual contest. Output two expected four. Why would my output be two? Something is weird. <gasps> Something is just really wrong. Then we have one number with four. We, I expect it to be four too. It's my. In, in, Hmm, silly mistake somewhere. I mean, I think the logic is still right because we have we only move one thing, so we have. Did I mess this up? Oh, I didn't do anything here. Oh, yeah. Oh, silly Larry, silly, silly, silly Larry. All right, all right. Ah, oh, why did I? Why did I? Do? Mm. All right, YOLO. Okay. Eh, silly. All right. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this explanation video, this contest, every in between. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.